This is the Chief Minister Shalomar of the Light of Zion welcoming all of you to the Lord's Passover, 21st of April, 2024. Don't miss it. L-O-Z to the chairs come and get me. See you there. It is not me to take the children's bread, right? And to cast it to dogs. What did Christ call this lady? Did you hear in the, in the verse? Lamb of God. Read that verse again. It is not me, it's not good, read, to take the children's bread, to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. So what did he call this lady? The Lamb of God. But what did he call the lady, sir? What? Lamb of God. All praises go to the mighty power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For your mercy truly works forever. Thank you, Yahweh, for all the blessings that you've given us. Thank you for this truth. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 8. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. The why do you have it? Twist Productions. All praise to the most high for the truth. All praise to the most high for the truth. All praise to the most high for the truth. All praise to the most high for the truth. The Bible is obedience or disobedience. Do you agree with that, sir? Yeah. So now, with that being said, where do we come out to teach our people the truth that's in the Bible? Because there's a there's a key thing to the truth. Give me the truth. Give me a, um, Psalms 119. I'm going to read a, a verse. I don't like to talk about this verse. Psalms 119, verse 142. I'd like to read a verse and converse about it real quick. This is the book of Psalms 119. Uh -huh. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Uh -huh. And thy law is the truth. Right. So the law of God is the truth. Right. There's over 613 commandments, laws in the Bible. Right. That is he saying in the Bible, that's my truth, right? That's the truth that is an everlasting truth. I Meaning it's not supposed to fade out. You can't say that was way back then. That's not way back then. That's ever, everlasting means it never ends, correct? The understanding of everlasting, something never ends. So now in America, they teach, our, they teach people pork, the other white meat, right? That we can eat swine's flesh. Do they not teach us that in America? That it's okay? Is that okay to God? Is it okay that we eat pork to God? I'm a stupid ass. Oh. I'm gonna read something to you, sir. Give me um, Deuteronomy 11 and verse 7. Leviticus. Leviticus. Sorry. Leviticus. 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 Give me 11 and 1 and then 11 and 7. The book of Leviticus chapter 11 verse 1. Read right? And the Lord spake unto Moses uh -huh. and to Aaron. What did he say? Saying to them, Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto the Israelites. Go ahead. Saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. So he's about to give a list of the beasts that may be eaten. Right? Uh-huh. That goes away, doesn't it? How? Huh. I can't quote scriptures here. I'll, 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 I'll pull it in the New Testament next. But isn't it, isn't it in the New Testament where that the all the space, the space, that all what? That uh, all things are declared uh, clean. All things are declared clean. We're gonna as read far that. As, gonna, as far as I know what verse you're referring to, and I'm gonna I, and read. I don't know the. Yeah. I know the verse you're referring to. We're gonna reread it and see if that's exactly what it says. But let's read here. What with the swines? Give me the verse seven. Verse seven. Mm -hmm. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. So here in the Old Testament, I just want to clarify, the father said that the swine, the pig, is unclean to you. Right? And what? Read on. Of their flesh. Of their flesh, right? Shall ye not eat pepperoni? Shall ye not, not eat, eat. Uh, pork chops? Shall, Shall ye not, not eat, eat. Uh, bacon? Shall, Shall ye not, not eat. eat? So it's clear, right? that we're not to eat it according to the Old Testament, uh, what the Most High told Moses and Aaron. 
God told Moses and Aaron to tell the Israelites. We're clear on that. All right, so now let's go to the New Testament. Um, uh, Titus uh, 4 and 4. 4 and 4? Titus 4 and 4. Wait, that's right. that's no, First Timothy, Timothy 4 and 4. Timothy Timothy. 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 The book of Timothy, chapter 4, and verse 4. Go ahead. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused. Stop. Is that what you're talking about? The verse you're talking about? Every creature of God is good and not to be refused? Sounds right. Okay. Stop the cap. Hey, read on. If it be received with thanksgiving, if it's received with thanksgiving, if you're happy for the creature, it should not be refused, right? And receive it with thank, thank the Lord for the creature. Yeah, yeah. Read on. For it is sanctified by the word. Wait a minute. Read it again. For, for it, it is sanctified by the word. word. For it is sanctified by the word. So you can receive any creature as long as it was sanctified by the word. The word sanctified means what? Set apart, me made good, made right by the word, right? So when God gave us the word, what did he tell us about pork? In Deuteronomy? Is yeah, that what you're saying? that's the word. There's no other word. Sure. What did he tell us about pork? Not to eat it. Not to eat it, right? right. So it's not, it's pork sanctified by the word. Because you would have to give me a verse that says, God said you can eat pork. So, are you saying that everything that's in uh, Deuteronomy, right? Like, every Old Testament commandment, right? Everything that's in the law, right, is what you have to follow right now. You still got to follow the laws and commandments of God. Absolutely, right. that's what you're saying. Absolutely, the only law that was done away with was what? Sac sacrifice, blood sacrifice through Christ. He is the final blood sacrifice. The Bible tells us that, right? I can read that out of the Bible. But other than that, we want to keep these laws. These commandments are supposed to be kept. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say what Christ said. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna go to Christ's words now. Give me Matthew 5:17. We're gonna go to Christ's words. And let's see if Christ said to do away with the law. Because we're supposed to be following Jesus Christ. Right? Let's see what Jesus Christ said about it. The book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Read right? out. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. Oh. He said, hold on. Don't you think I came to destroy the law? He already telling us in the first sentence. Don't think for a second, I'm going to tell you that you can eat pork, right? I'm not telling you can eat pork. Read on. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. I didn't come to destroy those laws. I came to fulfill. Read on. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise in pass. In no wise pass from what? From the law. From the what? From, from the, the law. law. From the law. This is unwritten in red. This is the book of Matthews, right? This is the this is the, the scripture that religion won't read, right? This is the scripture they won't read in the Christian church. They won't read it in the Catholic church, but it doesn't mean it's in the Bible. That's why I said religion is not from God. It's not even from the Bible. It's from men pushing an idea. There's an idea being pushed, right? In fact, he says, brother, go back to uh, uh, Matthew 5.17. Read it again from the top. I'm sure Think so. not that I'm come to destroy the law uh -huh. or the prophets. Come on. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So he came to fulfill. What did he come to fulfill? The law? All the prophecies. The prophecies. See, I don't even have to break it down for you. All throughout, yeah. He just came to fulfill the prophecy. Now, was there a prophecy that Christ would come and take away the law of God? Anywhere in the Bible? No. I, are we, am yeah. I on security Yeah, purposes? we have security purposes just to keep everything on film so everything is run smoother. Right? Is there a law somewhere or a verse somewhere in the Bible where Christ was prophesied to come and take away the law? No. Right? I'm going to show you something. One of the prophecies of Christ. Um, give me um, give me Isaiah. Yeah, I'm not going to get the Luke yet. I know you're talking about Right? Let's just look at Isaiah. Look at Isaiah chapter 53 and verse 1. Go ahead. No. Who have believed mm -hmm. our report? Right. And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? To so, whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? The arm of the Lord is talking about Christ. Right? Who is he going to be revealed to? Go ahead. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant. Right. And as a root out of a dry ground. Go ahead. He have no form 
nor of comeliness. Mm -hmm. And when we shall see him, right, there is no beauty that we should desire him. All right, so Christ came, he was a regular looking person, right? Tall, he wasn't exactly uh, like uh, Wesley Snipes or somebody that everybody, not Wesley Snipes, because nobody wants to look like Wesley Snipes. I'm talking about, uh, he wasn't, it wasn't, uh, give me somebody. Morris Chestnut, who you gave me? Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington, all right, Denzel. Three, he is despised and rejected of men. He was what? He, he despised, despised and rejected, rejected of men. So now what Christ had to teach the people, they didn't want to hear it. That's why when we teach of Christ, they don't want to hear what we got to say. Right. There's no difference, right? Christ didn't come to do away with the law, give everybody this free love that they could walk around and do what they want to do. If, they, if he was saying that, they would have loved him for it. Right? They would have loved him for it. But he didn't come to give that. He came to give the instruction of his God that was in heaven. Exactly. And that was what for what? For repentance. Right? Who, do, who was repentance given for? Who was the who, who did he came to preach? He came to preach repentance and the kingdom of heaven. Everyone, right? Everyone. To who? Everyone. Hey, yo. Let's check what the Bible says. Everyone. Give me Matthew. Um, Acts 5 and 29. Why not? 5 and 29. No, I don't want 5 and 29. Matthew 15. I like 15. 15 Right, let's get 50, 50. Let's see what he was what he was uh, preaching to the people. Because we want to believe in Christ. We want to serve him, but he's not here to talk for himself. Right. So he sent his prophets, his teachers with his word open to read verbatim what he said. So that we could determine are we really following Christ or not. Right? Let's go read. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24. Read out. But he answered and said, What did he say? I am not sent. But I am not sent. So Christ is saying, I didn't come, but what? But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Read on. Exactly. Then came she and worshiped him, saying, right. Lord. What's he say? Lord. Lord. Lord read, go ahead. Help me. Do what? Help, help me. So now this lady was beseeching Christ. He said, well, can you help me? He said, I'm not come but for the children of Israel. That's right. But she said, could you help me anyway? Right? But she wasn't a child of Israel. Right, read on. But he answered and said, "What he said? It is not me. It's not what? It, it is, is not me to take." The what does the word "meat" in Old English mean? It means it's not good. Meat means good, right? It is not good to what? It is not me to take the children's bread, right, and to cast it to dogs. What did Christ call this lady? The Lamb of God. What did the Lamb of God call this lady? What she called her, sir? Did you hear in the, in the verse? The Lamb of God. She, he, he calls it the Lamb of God. What did the Lamb of God call her? Read that verse again. It is not me. It is not good. Read. To take the children's bread. To take the children's bread. But she wanted a blessing. He said it's not good for me to take the children's bread, the children's blessings. Read on. And to cast it to dogs. So what did he call this lady here? What did he call her? What do you call the lady? It's the Lamb of God. But what do you call the lady, sir? What? Lamb of God. <laughs> okay, one more time. Read it one more time. Maybe they didn't get it. Maybe I'm going too fast. But Read it he answered right? and said, <laughs> Look, I'm gonna read that slow. <laughs> right? Go ahead. It is not me to take the children's bread, the Israelites' bread. I have not come unto the children of Israel. It's not good to take the children's bread, their blessings, read on, and to cast it to dogs. And to cast it to dogs. So the lady that was asking him for a blessing, what did he call her? What did you say? I said it was the Lamb of God. What did you say? D-O-G-S, dog. He calls her a dog. Why would Christ call this lady a dog? Why would he call this lady a dog? Huh? Because she was not of the children of Israel. She was not of the receiving people of the blessing. Because Christ was not loved by everybody. Remember, he was despised by many. We just read it, right? Why was Christ despised by many? Because he didn't tell people what they wanted to hear. He told him what God told him to tell him, and that's it. So we come here not to tell you what you want to hear, but what God tells us to tell you, according to the Bible, right? And according to the Bible, everybody, the, 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 the no, Lamb, Christ, did not I come for everybody, right? In fact, give me the instruction to the disciples. Uh, what is that, uh, Matthew 10? 
Right? He instructs it to the disciples. What you have to understand, how about you, brother? Um, so, go ahead. The, the book of the first verse. Oh, go right into Matthew. Are you good? The book of Matthew, chapter 10. The book of Matthew, chapter 10, and verse 5. Bring it out! These 12, these 12, the 12 disciples, go ahead. Jesus sent forth. Jesus Christ went and sent the disciples to teach the people, right? He came and he sent the disciples to teach the people. What did he tell them? And commanded them, saying. And he commanded them what? Go ahead. Go not into the way of the Gentiles. He said, don't go to the Gentiles. Who are the Gentiles? The other nations. But go where, right? And into any city of the Samaritans. Right? Enter ye not. Don't worry about the Samaritans. Go ahead. But go rather, but go rather read, to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But teach the Israelites. Huh. He told the disciples to teach the Israelites. We are out here looking for the Israelites. Who are the Israelites? Right here on the side, right? Right here on the side. That's who we're looking for. The children of Israel. God's chosen people. Today you would find them in the ghettos of the slums. So you find them first fired and last hired. That's where you would find them today. Right? Read. But go rather to the lost sheep uh -huh. of the house of Israel. And as ye go. And as you go, as I come to you, what's your name, brother? Huh? DJ. DJ. As you go to DJ, what do you want to tell DJ? Preach. Say, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, brother. That's what we come to teach you. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. What does it mean at hand? Shut your hand up. It's right there. Whole world going crazy. Get me caught slipping, I be in these scripts for safety. I'm protected from evil. As long as I'm keeping commandments, I know he looks out for me. Gotta wake up the people, show them the signs in the scriptures, cause that's what they're about to see. Last days, put my faith in the most high. Read the Bible from the front to the back page. I cannot backtrace.